Now, the number of accidents involving jaywalkers rose about 20% last year from the year before, and a quarter of the cases involved elderly pedestrians aged 60 and above. This road in front of Thompson Plaza had been an accident hotspot. Six years ago, two elderly parishioners died in road accidents in the area, leading to calls for improved pedestrian facilities on Upper Thompson Road. And now, with the construction of the Thompson East Coast Line in full swing, traffic in that area has become more congested. To prevent jaywalking, dividers have been put up. There are also designated pathways for pedestrians. But this isn't the situation in other parts of Singapore, like along Anmokyo Avenue 4. So how would you know when you're jaywalking? Well, right ahead of me, there's a traffic light junction with a designated pedestrian crossing. Now, if you were to make a dash across the road within 50 meters of this pedestrian crossing, now that would be considered as jaywalking. So to remind people to use these designated pedestrian crossings, these signs are being prominently displayed on all roads in Singapore. Between this whole stretch, uh, if it's rain, then I will take a so-called shortcut by going across the road. If there's a pleasant crossing, it's better, right? But it's not really... Uh, I don't know. Uh, I find it okay. I mean, uh, do, do you always use the pedestrian crossing? So no, no, I just cross through here. Sometimes I see people crossing over here and it can be quite dangerous because cars can keep over them. The number of deaths and injuries as a result of jaywalking rose from 195 in 2014 to 230 in 2015. Of these, the number of accidents involving the elderly rose from 51 in 2014 to 57 in 2015. To enhance road safety for elderly, the Land Transport Authority will expand the Silver Zone program from 35 to 50 locations island-wide by 2023. The program, which aims to enhance road safety for the elderly, includes having speed humps to slow down vehicles and centre dividers with railings to deter jaywalking. Over the past five years, traffic police issued about 7,400 warnings or summonses for jaywalking per year. Jaywalkers can be charged and fined up to $1,000 or jailed up to three months. They can also be fined $20 on the spot.